This tutorial will demonstrate how to fill out a letter of authorization form for applications submitted to the California Solar Initiative Thermal Program in San Diego Gas and Electric Service Territory. This tutorial is for CSI Thermal Program purposes only. SDG&E customers are required to fill out this document because the Center for Sustainable Energy is a third-party program administrator. The customer must grant CSE access in order to confirm natural gas service and customer class. CSE only uses this information to verify customer eligibility in the program. This document may be found in the application database or by visiting energycenter.org slash SWH installers and clicking on the toolkit. Now you have the document and are ready to fill it out. In the first section, CSC has pre-filled some information. The customer should fill in the blank fields. The first line on the document is for the name of the authorized party. This should be the name of the person who is signing the document and who is authorized to sign for the SDG&E account at the site. On the second line, labeled Name of Customer of Record, put the name of the customer of record on the SDG&E utility bill. The name should be exactly the same as what appears on the applicable utility bill. On the third line, put the mailing address of the customer which may be different from the service address. For the next two lines, CSE has pre-filled our address as the third party receiving the information. Do not write the customer's information here since the contractor is not the party being authorized. On the following lines, enter the service address and account number for the accounts being authorized. Please ensure that the service account number provided is the one that is associated with the natural gas meter on site. We will now move on to section two of the document. Here we will pause to point out some language that customers may have questions about. The second to last sentence of the paragraph reads, in certain instances, the requested act or function may result in cost to you, the customer. The language does not apply under the CSI Thermal Program and customers providing authorization to CSE as part of an application will never be charged. The next part of this document is where the customer grants information release to the agent, CSE. You will notice that there's an arrow on the left-hand side indicating what kind of authorization we're looking for. Initialing here allows CSE to receive the customer's usage history for the account number provided. No other bullets are required. This usage information allows us to verify the utility customer class and account information for the customer and project in question. Moving on to section three, you will see that the customer is specifying a period of time in which this authorization is allowed. We request that 18 months be given for CSE to execute this document. Below these three bullets is the release of account information. You will notice that the third bullet has already been selected. In the final section, the authorized party indicated at the beginning of the document will print their name in the blank space provided. The authorized party signs in the indicated location and provides a telephone number and date of execution. The section at the bottom of the page should be left blank. This is for program purposes only. Following these instructions will make the application process smoother for all parties. If you have any questions about filling out this form or any other application related questions, please contact us.